Hi, my name is Casey from Retroactive Arcade, and I'm going to do yet another review on the Pandora's Box 4S All-in-One Gaming Stations. Uh, the reason why I'm going to do that is because they've changed considerably since the last time I did my last video. Now, you can still get some of the old ones that I did in my old video, which is great. Those ones are compatible with any other little JAMA board that you might get. You can modify those machines quite a bit. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this one, uh, this review, is because these ones are no longer uh, compatible with anything else. A lot of the suppliers found a way to make them proprietary to them, uh, and in doing so they changed a little bit of the technology inside. Um, even though they're coming out with new technologies all the time, they're starting to stick with the ones that I'm seeing right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things. Now with this one here in front of me, um, this one hasn't changed much for shape and the box itself, but everything else has changed. So now they're using really high-end Sanwa clone buttons. They were just using junky ones before. They are still clones. Some of them I can be ordered with actual Sanwa buttons, and we also offer the upgrade um, real OEM versions of that uh, for any of these sticks. And we'll do the modifications before we ship it, or we'll put the extra buttons for you and joysticks and stuff to modify yourself, and you can do all that fun stuff when you get it. Um, upon ordering it. Um, we kind of do the old one-stop shop thing in there. Now the joysticks in these ones used to be kind of cheap and I really didn't like the feel of them and stuff like that. These ones are a really 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 good clone of the JLF. Okay so the Sanwa JLF is used for competition for fight sticks and stuff like that for Street Fighter games for PlayStation 3 and 4 that type of a thing. Um, I've had a lot of competition guys start playing with these ones and they cannot really tell the difference 100%. Obviously it's because the games that are on this don't need a you know a good response rate and stuff like that so it's it is a lot harder to tell. Um, you know, with the old Street Fighter versus something that's new. Now you can see, just from me opening it up and looking at it quickly, you can see that like they've got a new PCB on the bottom there. They're not using a JAMA setup anymore. They're using this ribbon cable type of setup. Um, it, if you look inside, you might sit there and think, oh, that's Pandora's Box 4 clone. Um, it's not really a clone. It's not, it is a Pandora's Box 4 with the programming that's put on it, but the card itself isn't really technically a Pandora's Box 4 anymore. Um, it's got a better processor, that type of a thing, and then they just loaded the uh, Pandora's Box 4 system and all of its game list onto these, uh, these boards. Um, it is Android based, so it's open source, so it'll go onto any of these boards. Um, I'll show you the other difference. They did not change these clips, no, though, unfortunately. Um, that's something that I don't like. It makes it look a little clunky. Um, is the back. So you can see that it's a little more refined since my last video. It's actually labeled for what they are. They're placed in the right spot. They're not just a big random hole with the board kind of showing from the inside. Uh, those were all, I guess, more like prototypes and stuff. And since it took off, uh, they've decided to refine the product that much more. You can also see that this is a different decal. There's probably three, four dozen different decals. Um, I will say it now before I get into any of the other stuff. Uh, do you get to choose your decal? Um, technically, no. We don't even get to choose our decal unless we order multiples of whatever. Um, <clears throat> it's not cost effective to do it right now. Um, we are setting them up for pre-order. The reason why they're set up for pre-order is they usually sell before we get here uh, or before it gets here. Um, when that happens, you know, it's hard to allot certain things to people unless they pre-order. We order them every one to two weeks, so that's why we say two to three weeks ship time. Because as soon as it gets here, we quality test it, we make modifications that you might request if you want it. Different joysticks, different buttons, LEDs, different, uh, different decals and stuff. We'll peel this off, put a different one on if you really, really want it. All those things are extra, but uh, we do that in-house before we ship it out to make sure that you're okay. <clears throat> now, this is, the, this is the baby that I really wanted to show you, and this is the one I really want to review. There's two different kinds. This was ordered. I ordered this one specifically for me. This was a prototype. Uh, you notice the only real difference in it is this one's got a white powder coat. That's just the way they did in the beginning. They're all coming black now with the black powder coat. Reason being is, is it costs two to three times much more for the white for whatever reason. So we want to keep the cost down because uh, we want to make sure that it's affordable for everybody. So the white is not really an option. Um, you can also see that this one has six buttons instead of eight. The reason for this one having eight is this one just is a Pandora's Box 4S. Uh, it has the exact same components and the exact same um, 
grade and quality of buttons and joystick and that kind of stuff. The only major difference between the two is this one is actually an Xbox Xbox, Xbox 360 and a PS1, 2 and 3 controller. So it's also a, like it, 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 it's a controller for two players. So you can run um, two USB cords out of it, put it right into your Xbox or PlayStation and then you can uh, you know, play away and use this as your controller for there. So any games that might not be on here that you downloaded or have a disc for, that type of thing, if it'll translate to this, you can play it. Um, so it gives you a lot more versatility. The difference between these two is about 50 to 75 bucks. The one between, the one on that I brought up before, the difference on them is a flat rate of 100 bucks. I'm not carrying the ones here without the Xbox 360 Switch on them. Uh, they're a lot harder to get and um, uh, just for the for the $50 difference Canadian um, it's just not worth it so we're just going to be offering the one with the, the Xbox PlayStation conversion we also sell um, Xbox and place Xbox one and PlayStation 4 adapter brook adapters that uh, we tested out I tested out on the Xbox and it worked pretty good uh, I haven't tested out for the PlayStation 4 yet I guess I should do that before I say anything, but uh, I will be testing it and I will post it underneath this video once I know what it'll actually do. So I'm going to show you the inside. This is the difference <clears throat> on this one. Obviously, there's a lot more buttons, a lot more joysticks, that type of a thing. Now, when I was saying stuff about the um, JLF joystick um, being really good in the other one, they've got a really good version of that, um, well, really, really sweet version of the JLF clone in here as well. But as you saw, or now I'll make you pay attention over here to one of these joysticks, we'll zoom in. It's got an eight-way, four to eight-way gate on it. So now you can change that. It was a big issue before. They told us that there was, they were coming out with that four to eight-way and they never did and finally they, they pulled it off. And these uh, joysticks are pretty smooth. They're not too bad. I've had some uh, competition guys play this and say that it is comparable to their competition joysticks uh, just because of the uh, higher end products and, and uh, components that they're putting in these machines as well. Now, <clears throat> you can see all these extra little buttons on here. I'll show you what those are in a minute when I close it all back up again. The thing that makes this one different is it's on pretty much the exact same board. They just added this little Xbox PlayStation adapter that's on there. And uh, it basically just, there's a little switch on the back here that will bypass or, or allow the USBs out on here to control your, your uh, Xbox and PlayStation. All right, so nice and simple, really clean look. Overall, it's a high quality machine. This is all metal. Uh, it does give you that angle uh, uh, downwards so it tapers towards you. And the, um, the wideness of it gives you that ergonomic feel where a, a big guy like me can be playing with a buddy and we're not really rubbing shoulders, maybe elbows, but not shoulders. The other one, really close together, Feels like it's a little bit more for for kids, fun, something on your lap. Uh, you can just you know plug it in, and go. It is great for the, it's it's worth every penny for those ones. They start Canadian, three ninety nine. Uh, if it's U S, it's one hundred and twenty dollars off of that, so it's like two hundred eighty bucks plus shipping. These ones start at uh, four ninety nine. Well, they're only at four ninety nine. <clears throat> But uh, in the back here, you see that you have your extra buttons and controls for your Xbox and PlayStation on the back there. Um, so it's, it's, it's very convenient. Uh, they work excellent. Uh, the sound quality out of them is, is getting better and better all the time. <clears throat> if, you use the, if you use the HDMI out, then obviously you're going to get the sound from your TV. Um, and it does produce uh, really high-end HD quality in the menus and stuff. The games themselves are getting clear. They're remastering them and remaking them. Um, I'm not finding any lag in any of these machines. Um, some of the ones that we had before, I did find that there was, you know, with them cloning and changing and doing some things, there was a little bit of lag and stuff. But um, our our suppliers that we go through, we've spent some, we've done our due diligence looking through uh, their products and making sure it's something that we want to provide. Uh, we're one of the only ones that provide a 60-day warranty or any warranty um, at that. We're one of the cheapest places in North America for these uh, boxes, for sure. And we uh, will answer the phone to an uh, answer any of your questions uh, via email. You can uh, contact us through YouTube, uh, call us directly on our phone number on our website, or you can just go to our website, order, check out all the information there. We have these videos posted there as well as many others. 
Um, our website is www.retroactivearcade.ca and yes we are in Canada and if you are in the States you're gonna you know get some serious saving right now because it is 30 cents on the dollar here in Canada so it's 30 percent off pretty much um, other than that in Canada uh, buy from a place that you can trust if you like to buy local and you like to support local um, retroactive arcade is a pretty solid brand so I just wanted to go over a quick little thing here. I can't let you guys go without actually seeing a demo of the gameplay, that type of thing, even though I showed it on my last one, just in case you didn't see the last one, then you get kind of the whole kind of meal deal on this one. So the first thing I wanted to mention with this one is, is that uh, not only is it ergonomic and good, they got the LED push buttons on them as well. So that makes it kind of nice. And I find that the big layout of the actual stick itself <clears throat> stops it from wanting to wobble or twist or anything so um, you do get a flat kind of dead hit when you do it and it feels just a lot more stable uh, you got big rubber mounts underneath here which are great uh, for any sort of coffee table glass that type of a thing okay so I'm going to show you how the menu works uh, really quick and we'll go through a game real fast and uh, yeah we'll all be good so gameplay wise when you get these ones um, they're going to be set to free play. Some of the other ones won't, where you'll have to coin in and stuff first. So you can hit coins, whatever, and then it'll allow you to select all your all your games themselves. So the down the only downside that I find to this whole thing is that the games themselves are not in alphabetical order. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you uh, and tell you that it's all good and whatever. Basically, in the end, you're going to have to just remember by number what game that is your favorites, and then you'll have to, or or you're just going to have to keep going through them all the time. Uh, which can be a bit of a pain in the butt. There's no way to scroll super fast through them. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna have to live with that. But in the end, there's only 680 games on there. You can hold it right or left, and it'll do a page at a time, so it goes super fast through it. And then it's just up or down to do one at a time. Um, yeah, so let's do some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it's button A to get into any of the games themselves. As you can hear, you'll, you'll hear the uh, You'll hear the sound, onboard sound. This is connected through VGA. Um, so the sound that's coming through isn't coming through the monitor. It's actually coming through the box itself. Um, some games take a little longer to load than others. <clears throat> but as you see, it just throws in coins right away. Um, but I'm going to keep pressing a couple coins. Uh, this is the two version player, or two player version. So we're good to go. One up, good to go. Hopefully that's not too loud. Anyway, so that's gameplay. So to get out, you're going to want to press one up and your LED button on the side. It'll bring up a menu. Press down, hit exit. All your action button is always A, and it'll take you right back into the into the menu. You know, play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Aliens, tons of them. So you go straight. It's pretty straightforward. Other than that, when you turn it on and you turn it off, that's all you got to do. So the other downside to this, I guess, I know I said the only one, but I just remembered another one is that when you turn it on it's got a really long intro with music uh, you've got to listen to it every time you can't skip through so uh, that's how you know you've got an authentic pandora's box 4s is if you've got that crazy intro i didn't want to do it on here because it takes like 30 seconds and nobody wants to watch that the whole time uh, let alone me rambling on so i'm gonna let you go good times had by all for these bad boys everybody i know that gets one all of our customers that have ordered one uh, really, really love them, and uh, they got great reviews. You can check them out on our website. Thank you very much, and have a good one. See you later.